The Treasurer has rejected a push by the states to bring back federal incentives for state asset recycling. Josh Schreiderberg will sit down with state and territory counterparts this morning at Parliament House. Let's go live now to our political reporter Trudy McIntosh in Canberra. Uh, and Trudy, infrastructure spending will dominate talks. This will be about productivity and uh, population. And really the states are asking for more financial incentives from the Commonwealth. That's right. Once again, the Treasurer will be under pressure to help bring forward some of these infrastructure projects in a bid to help boost this economy. He points out that the government has this $100 billion pipeline of infrastructure projects over the next 10 years. But as we know, a lot of those projects are in the back end of that 10-year period and aren't actually impacting the economy right now. The Treasurer has said that where he can, he would like to bring forward these sorts of projects. But even state treasurers agree that it is hard, given the constraints we see on such big infrastructure projects, to actually bring them forward and get them started right now. Meanwhile, the Treasurer also rejecting a push in particular from New South Wales to re, um, reinstate this asset recycling program that we saw in 2014 by Joe Hockey. Josh Frydenberg says that the um, states don't need this money from the Commonwealth. But the Commonwealth's position uh, is that the states don't need any financial incentives to recycle their assets. They've shown both a willingness and an ability to do that in the past and we'll leave them to do that into the future. Uh, what we will continue to do is to partner with um, state governments on really important projects. The Treasurer wants the focus also today to be on productivity. He believes that the states need to look at ways to help reducing environmental regulation, also focus in on skills and health funding. Certainly a lot on this agenda when the Treasurers meet just in a short time from now, but as we know with these sorts of meetings, there's always plenty of curveballs that can be thrown up in that room.